Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the tropics. I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far and so happy new year guys. So this is of course my first update video since the start of 2023 and I actually posted in the community post section of my channel but in case you haven't seen it, happy new year to you and I wish for you a wonderful year and so we're going to take a look at what is currently happening and what is expected across sections of the uh, uh, the western atlantic mainly the caribbean and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right, and let us go ahead and get straight into it. And so we're looking at this wide view of the North Atlantic region on infrared satellite. And we see that uh, there is quite some activity that is noted outside the Caribbean. We see quite a bit going on across portions of the U.S. with those storm systems as they form. And also that severe weather that uh, affect many states. But in the vicinity of the Caribbean, we're not seeing a whole lot happening, but uh, there is definitely at least some things to pay attention to and so let's take a closer look at the region and so we're seeing here that uh, there is definitely some showers that are noted and a lot of cloudiness across some areas across majority of northern south america and we definitely see where all that activity is um, making its way into some areas such as Trinidad and Tobago and the other Windward Islands such as St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. And so as for Puerto Rico, here we have a closer view of the area and we're definitely seeing where uh, all these showers and thunderstorms are trying to develop. And so when we start to see those red shades, that is usually indicating a lot of deep convection and that is where we find a more intense thunderstorms but throughout the day rainfall was definitely possible across Puerto Rico and also the Virgin Islands uh, and of course as we're going to head tomorrow then other areas such as Hispaniola will feel some impacts from that little cluster right there and so uh, as for the rest of the Caribbean the eastern Caribbean that is uh, mainly for the the leeward islands we're seeing here that there isn't too much happening mainly some passing clouds that might bring along with them a stray shower or so but nothing very intense guys and so for the rest of the region, we're seeing here that nothing much is really happening all because of the presence of that abundant dry air across the area. So we're not seeing too much happening for that reason across these, these other areas. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what is expected by the various models and we're going to be starting out with of course the GFS and so we're looking at the relative humidity map. So the teals indicate more moisture whereas those browns indicate more dry air and so we're going to be taking a look at what the model is expecting and this is for Thursday January 5th so for tomorrow and we're seeing that uh, the model is expecting some increased moisture uh, in the vicinity of some areas such as uh, Venezuela, going to Guyana, and also Suriname and French Guiana. So those areas are expected to uh, possibly receive more rainfall because of course where we have more moisture or more abundant moisture that is where we would typically see a more probability for shower and thunderstorm development and we also see that little area which is currently that little cluster of some showers and thunderstorms in the vicinity of Puerto Rico so by tomorrow we see some of that moisture extended into parts of the Dominican Republic but for the most part dry air is pretty much dominant across the rest of the Caribbean. Now, as we're going to be heading to Friday, take a look at this. So we have all of this moisture making its way across the Eastern Caribbean or into the Eastern Caribbean. And of course, that is going to increase the chances for rainfall. And uh, we definitely see that some of that dry air is uh, being suppressed across most of the Caribbean. But then as we're going to be heading into the new week, there is still that lingering moisture, especially across the Southeastern Caribbean and 
and parts of the northeastern Caribbean, but uh, for the western Caribbean and central Caribbean, we see mainly that dry air that is anticipated. And so as for the euro, the euro is sort of in agreement with this. So for tomorrow, the model is definitely expecting uh, that area of moisture to be making its way towards the vicinity of the Dominican Republic. And we also see some increased moisture across portions of the southeastern caribbean as well uh, as we're going to be heading to friday nothing of a very big change but uh nothing intense as i said is anticipated as we're going to be progressing into the uh next couple of days guys and so as for the total accumulated precipitation here for euro uh here we have the different colors to your right that indicate how much rainfall is expected in total and this is in inches so where we see those blues that indicates at least uh three quarters of an inch or just over an inch of expected rainfall between now and then so this time frame that we're looking at is up to saturday of this week on the 7th of january and so uh, we're seeing here that the air is expected to receive the most rainfall in terms of the caribbean see that the most rainfall is expected in the vicinity of the eastern caribbean of course and then as for the gfs the gfs is expecting something a little bit similar and we see higher totals along uh, the northeastern coast of the Dominican Republic and also for eastern Puerto Rico. So again, this is between now and January 7th, the end of this week. So if it is, say, two inches of rainfall that is expected, uh, that is between now and then, as in all the rainfall that's going to take place is going to amount to possibly two inches in total. So this is not all anticipated in one day. But that is what is currently happening happening across the region guys nothing too intense and of course as we're going to be entering this new year uh the hurricane season begins of course the first of june and let's see if we're gonna potentially have preseason activity because last year was the first uh in a long time that june first arrived and there wasn't a uh preseason storm because that has been the case since 2015 up until last year so the first name on the list for this season is arlene and then of course as we're going to be progressing into the spring uh the different sources are going to be giving their predictions uh in terms of how much named storms hurricanes and major hurricanes we're going to be seeing this hurricane season so uh last year wasn't a very active hurricane season was pretty much near average uh definitely something that wasn't anticipated because a lot more activity was expected but of course things are pretty quiet throughout july and august but let's see what's going to happen this year so uh We'll talk more about the hurricane season as we approach the hurricane season, but that is definitely not something to be worried about at this point in time. And so that is really it for this update video, guys. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.